TNT's latest hit, The Alienist, based on the best-selling novel by Caleb Carr, showcases a team of detectives and professionals who want to catch an elusive killer running rampant in 1896 New York City. That's new. The victims are troubled working boys living on the streets selling themselves to barely get by. Meet Dr. Chrysler, an alienist. He's got a mysterious arm stitch and lives with a pyro and a paroled murderer. His close friend John Moore is a sketch artist for the New York Times, but also a drunk playboy. Troublemaker! Sarah Howard is the first woman to work at the New York City Police Department. She's no-nonsense and wants to be the first female detective in the city. Sarah is also secretary to Police Commissioner Teddy Roosevelt. Yes, that Teddy Roosevelt. As usual, you've overstepped your bounds. Chrysler plus John plus Sarah plus forensic detectives the Isaacson brothers equals NYPD detective team. They start uncovering clues about the killer, hoping to create a suspect profile. But he has a silver smile. Silver smile. Heights. He's attracted to heights. But the killer's always one step ahead, and the murders continue. He's watching us. The former police commissioner is convinced that William is the killer. He warns his super-rich family he should leave the city, but Chrysler has his doubts. Ben Burton is not our killer. So we've nothing to hide here, huh? Oh, so that's Creepy Connor, NYPD's most corrupt cop. The Creepy Cop Connor corners William and murders him in cold blood. <laughs> then another working boy shows up at the foot of the Statue of Liberty. Plot twist! William was never our killer. What causes a man to do such things? There's major drama playing out. I just listen to what's I is. am listening! <laughs> Major drama. May I remind you it was I that introduced you? Yes, our handsome but indolent mutual friend. Is that what you think of me? It's what Sarah thinks of you. Chrysler's way harsh with John, so John's back on the bottle. And Creepy Connor has insane anger issues. Sarah's team MVP. She discovers there's a former soldier with a history of violence from the DC area. He must be half crazy to do what he did that day. What exactly did he do? His throat was cut from ear to ear. His eyes were missing. Do you remember his name? Beecham. George Beecham. They now know that Beecham is the killer. Mary. Little does Chrysler know, Mary's in serious danger back in New York. Mary. Aw, sorry Chrysler. Chrysler mourns Mary's death while the team keeps investigating. I believe Japheth Dury killed his parents and a man named George Beecham. He took his name, or part of it, and became John Beecham. All we have to do is find him. They track down Beecham's address and find his apartment, and then shit gets real. I don't want you working or living on the street. John tries to protect Joseph, a working boy in the neighborhood who's helped them throughout the investigation. So what happens next for the Alienist team? Will Sarah and John get together? Will the team track down John Beecham? Will Chrysler find the answers he's desperately searching for? Binge The Alienist on TNT to find out.